This is uh, Tomas Quinn, and he's a just retired Gaelic football player yep. here in Dublin, and he's working for News Talk 106 108, and they're doing the game today. Tomas, this is a big field, dude. It's, it's, yeah, it's it is. It's huge. I can't imagine American football players actually having to run this or basically any other sport. How did you survive? You just retired last year, and you said you're beat up a little bit. You're old, right? I'm getting old. It's harder. The, 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 the younger guys are getting faster and faster. And as you can see, the pitch is it's pretty big, and the dimensions of the GA pitch are right to the sidelines there. So uh, you can just see that. My God. How, how wide is, is so the So it game? comes to right down to the yeah. about five yards in off the side and then the whole way to the end and then the goal posts for the GA are down right at the end there as well. So. What are the overall dimensions of a Gaelic football field? Do you even uh, know? I, I don't know the exact dimensions you could find out but it's, it's 15 a side so there's yeah. more guys on the pitch so it's a little bit more manageable but it's um, it's tough going. It's a, it's a very fast sport. It's um, There's two, two Irish sports, Gaelic football and hurling. I play Gaelic football and um, Crow Park, that's the home for, for all our games. Yes, and there's two semifinals this weekend, so we know about Two Gaelic that. football semifinals this weekend. Now, American football. Yeah. When did you ever start watching it? Years ago, just recently, or no, years what did ago, you think? I loved it, yeah. Years ago, I was actually in New York for the summer, back in uh, just over 10 years ago now, and I was watching it, and it was the, the NFL season was just starting, and I started watching games, and uh, the easy thing was everyone was watching Patriots games, or Giants games, yeah. or Jets games, and uh, I kept seeing the Tennessee Titans, and a uh, quarterback called Steve McNair, and he kept making plays, and I used to l like watching it, and so I'm a Titans fan, and then the more I watched the NFL, then I started watching uh, They went to the football. Super Bowl about then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they did, yeah. Just a couple yeah, years before they that. did, yeah. yeah, just two years before, I didn't know that at the time, mm. so I wasn't uh, I wasn't jumping on the bandwagon or anything, but... Uh, you were taken with Steve McNair. Yeah, I, I just every time I saw him, he just seemed to be running around making plays, and it was just one of those things. It was just uh, I enjoyed watching. I enjoyed the, the tactical aspect of it, just the game plan of kind of offense against defense. It's very different than um, our sports, kind of flowing continuous, the whole time, yeah. continuous. And yeah. I, I like the idea of kind of standing across the line and trying really? to outthink the other guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like that aspect. How, of how it, quickly yeah. did you catch on to it? Did you have friends in New York who do, taught you the basics, or yeah, did you I, I kind of I kind of understood the basics of it, like the premise of going. Yeah. 10 yards and four plays and things like that but uh yeah the more i kind of watched it the more i picked it up and in fairness you guys have good enough and uh the tv coverage and the analysis over there like there's so much on and be it all the tv stations that mm -hmm. you, you can watch as much as you want and the more you watch obviously the more you learn and the more you pick up on it and um yeah i like sports i'd watch any sports and thankfully in the last couple of years in ireland we'd have a lot of coverage of uh, both college football and for nfl you do okay oh, yeah. i didn't so, know yeah. yeah so college football um obviously on saturdays be later on saturday evenings over here but we'd have a uh, station espn america sure so um they'd show college football and then on sunday nights we'd have three nfl games to be shown live as well so, you, so we we've no reason not to watch you it, and so. your friends go out and watch these or no yeah well we go out some nights if there was big games on we go out and watch them or obviously Super Bowls and things like that we go out but uh, generally we'd probably watch them at home and obviously with social media and with internet it's a lot easier to follow particularly instantaneously you can obviously sit at home and you're, you're getting updates so it's uh, it's enjoyable now of course they have to do this yeah now, but you know that's part of the run up as they say um, what do you think about these two teams do you feel like you know enough from watching video or tape or what yeah, I, I probably know more about Penn State, being honest, purely because uh, historically I would have watched them in the last couple of years. I would have seen some of their guys. And, um, UCF I know less of. I was aware of Blake Bortles last year when he was a uh, quarterback for them. And um, I suppose you probably get more coverage of the individual players that are going on to the next level. So uh, you would have seen that. But um, I'm looking forward to today's game. I think it's going to be exciting. And uh, I hope it's good for the Irish crowd. Thanks, Thomas. It was a pleasure. Yeah, enjoy the day. In, your, in your retirement. Yeah, thank you.